How's it going guys? So in this video, and I apologize it's a bit noisy here with the fan running, but we're gonna take a look at how to replace a total toilet flapper. And uh, uh, it should be really easy. And again, I've done similar videos in the past for the total G Max um, toilets. And this one, I think it, the model number is Drake. Um, the flapper in this one has, uh, has gone bad. And we had this toilet for over 10 years, extremely reliable toilet, never had anything wrong with it. Um, however, the, I just recently noticed that, that the water is, uh, is leaking into the toilet bowl, or that the water is actually leaking from the flap area just a little bit, um, and our water bill has increased. So I think we, it's time that we're gonna get the flapper replaced. And uh, let's just get started. It's actually really easy, okay? Uh, first thing first, you need to make sure you have the correct flapper for your toilet. And usually they will tell you for total, uh, if you flip this cover over, it will specifically tell you what kind of flapper you need to use to replace it. And in this case, those are the total model numbers. Uh, however, I'm using a, uh, a Corky toilet flapper. Uh, now, if you don't know, Corky is the official supplier of the OEM flapper for Total. So you can definitely find a replacement flapper that's made by the company called Corky um, that fits Total. And the model number I have here for this toilet is 2021. Now, they came out with a new version. The version model number is 2023. That version pretty much replaces every other um, I guess legacy toilet flapper designs um, there is including this one so this one is being phased out the newest one is 2023 however the 2021 still works for this Drake series of total toilets so I'm going to be using this one okay but if you want most compatibility for the total make sure you buy 2023 and double check on um, whether it's going to replace the flapper that's mentioned on the toilet uh, top cover uh, of your toilet okay so let's get started um, the first thing first is you're gonna turn off the water valve at the bottom okay the water valve is usually very close to the toilet and this one is actually uh, pretty hard to turn it's actually kind of like rusted in so I'm going to try to use a wrench to turn that little um, valve because it's it's kind of like really stuck there that's very hard to turn like right there so i'll be right back it looks like my valve is broke um supposedly you turn off you need to turn counterclockwise i actually turned it all the way counterclockwise and it's actually still have the water flowing so obviously it's kind of broke and I have to use a lot of force um, I don't want to over tighten it but the water is flowing much slower now as you can see I'm gonna show you guys you guys can see there is no overflowing of the water from here and it's just flowing very slowly at the fill valve. So we can go to the flapper and just simply take the flapper out, okay? That's it. It's really easy. Um, first, you're gonna unhook this from the, uh, from the lever and then the flapper can be just uh, flipped out from the two nose area over here, and that's it. Like, that's how easy it is. Um, the only area you have to worry about is the little two holes and this. You're gonna save this, you're gonna reuse this, um, but I think it also comes with a new one, so if you want to use a new one, count the amount of chains that's currently on there, and then just reuse that amount of link um, to uh, rehook the chain over here. This is 
a new one. Compare. And I believe it's kind of just like standard three inch valve. Um, let me see if it fits in there. I think it should fit. Yep. So it is a correct fit and uh, I'm just going to put it on there, and again, super easy, there are two hooks over here. You're going to realign the amount of chain. There is, let's see how many chains needed. And if you guys look over here, I'm just aligning the length of the chain to make sure they're kind of the same, which is right there. And I'm just gonna hook it at about the same length. And drop it in here. Let's see. And we are going to hook this onto the little knob over there and this one same thing just hook it onto the knob and there you go that's it uh, that's how easy it is to install it we just need to double check to make sure uh, it actually stops the water flow and also hook the chain onto the little arm over here like so I'm going to reopen the valve just uh, fully and we'll take a look. Shouldn't have any problems. Let me take the phone off the uh, the gimbal. So I'm sure you guys. So it's actually really easy, okay? So make sure the link is fine. There's some free play over here. And make sure you hooked the two areas over here correctly. And it will just rest over there very, very, very easy and nicely. I'm looking at the refill valve and it doesn't look like there's any water coming out so we should be okay i'm going to turn off the light and try to hear the sound this is kind of loud here all right let's hear and there is no weird sound, there's no le water leaking sound from the flapper area. And uh, so you know you did a good job when no more water leaks, okay? Um, another thing that I would do probably before I did this is clean the edge area uh, under the flapper because usually there are some slimes over there that might also cause the leakage. But with this new flapper, again, the last one lasted 10 years. This one should just last as long, um, if not longer. Um, so hope this is helpful and uh, if you changed your flapper, there's no water leaking from into the toilet but there are water that's going from the overflow valve or the water is going above the overflow valve, then you need to think about replacing the, uh, the fill valve. Uh, I have another video for the fill valve, so if that's your issue, definitely check that video out. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to the channel. Um, I should have more, you know, home improvement videos coming out for you guys. Thanks again, and see you in the next one. Take care.